favorite rap time, your favorite movie stars time. You know what time it is. All rights reserved. Shout to the galaxy, the universe, and everybody rocking with the movement. Now, let me bring this back. Who was taking those photos of him when he was in the store? Let's just cut the games. Who was taking the photos in the store? Who had the photos on their phone? And why weren't phones confiscated when investigators pulled up on the scene? What's all this funny style stuff? Why is everybody so funny style about it, but then trying to act credible like, oh, why are you talking about it? Why are you mentioning it? Oh, oh why is he? The investigator like, this happened. Oh, this happened this way. And then we see a video. Everything's different. Stop playing with me. Y'all guys, y'all are funny. What happened to the video expert that was supposed to look at the video, the audio expert? These people were paid for by Diedrich D. Williams. What are their reports? Why is it so quiet? Are they doing this stuff behind the scenes? Matter of fact, I don't even care about that. That's for y'all truthers. Because who was saying stuff was funny when all of y'all were doubting it? Who was saying that investigators were acting and seeming kind of funny in situations? Then we found a pass of them abusing the law. Yeah, I was standing up here saying that with some other commenters while the rest of y'all were slandering me for saying it. That's a fact. We ain't got to argue about that. That's a fact. We ain't even going to play around that. So let me ask y'all a legit question. If y'all allow this little boy who I'm not even going to go into details because let me tell you this. I seen your social media. Matter of fact, at that time, let me plug this in. Go over to Twitter at sign capital A L L capital C Z A R R on Twitter or go over to Instagram C Z A R R underscore all rights reserved one word. You know how I rock. Now let back to your social media. I seen you doing some, let's just say some different things on your social media. You removed a lot of photos, but you were hugged up with some entertainingly different people. Got to wipe that. Woo. Got to wipe that off. Woo. What were you doing? That's why I was curious about a real estate agent, but we're not going to go into that. We're not going to go into that. Okay. Let's talk about it. Now, when that first happened, there was brothers that came out and said that they were there when it happened. Matter of fact, the witness named Victor claimed he got the last photo with him alive, confirmed by Panama. And yeah, I'm saying your name there because you confirmed that. So if you confirmed him, he had the last picture. And then you guys get together on a live that he publicly claims, shout to Simba, you seen that. He publicly claimed that he was literally, literally not there. What do we gain from it? What is the actual actuality of the situation? How do we know that something funny ain't really occurring? Who's co-signing him? That's the problem. Who's co-signing him? That's the ultimate issue. So if you co-signed him and we can see that he's now claiming he wasn't there for something that occurred, we can conclude that you're not truthful. So your credibility is out the window. If we have your credibility out the window and I'm standing on my ground, the stuff I said, and you guys are coming at me for saying things the way I said it. Do you see how you kind of destroy your own perception of what you create? Do you see how it's almost senseless for you to fight the fact that I'm proving a point? Is this all not clear to you? So tell me, who was there taking the last photo? Who was there with the news anchor if it wasn't you, who somebody who looked exactly like you? Who was actually present during this time? Those are the factors that aren't seen. Those are the different things that can't be explained. That's the bottom line. You can't explain these things to me. There's no way you can prove stuff to try and say that things are being done a certain way to violate a situation when you're not carrying yourself justly. I mean, within the whole situation, honestly, you bring nothing. You bring nothing to it but hatred. You didn't even want to discuss the topics we talked about. When I asked about the photo, where was he on video doing the things he said to this news anchor when the story went public and you got several hundred thousand views, several. I mean, I think it was something near 300 to 400,000 last time I looked. All those views. But now not only are you saying you weren't there. But you two are backing out like you never had anything to say about it. 
And we still got some interesting things you said. And I have commenters rocking with me here that have copies of it. I've seen it and I've seen you say a few things. So are you telling us we're delusional? I'm delusional that a boy claimed that he took pictures. He took photos. Not only that, you said you waited by the car. You waited by the car. We don't see anything like that. Matter of fact, we don't even see photos of you running into the store. Not only that, you dictated how you saw the uncle run into the store. How could you do that if you weren't there? Not only that, you claimed you ran prior to the uncle running in. So how were you ever there? Like you said, maybe you weren't there and you had all those photos. You broke the story. You brought information. You had different dialect occurring off of what you put on social media. And then you were able to go back, double back on a live stream that was filled with all commenters from my nation. And you said what you said. You contradict yourself. So how did you avoid a witness list? But magically, get this, magically, there's someone named Victor on that witness list. Magically. And this is an African-American. It's not even someone that fits your description. How does that happen? What's going on? How did you get into that situation to avoid anything else you're dealing with? How'd you avoid it? That's magic to me. That's what I consider magic. That I could go out here and say, no, nah, it was not. Zara Rights Reserve wasn't in this spot. And I'm here. I don't know how you can do that. And everyone co-signing you there, co-signing you with the photo. How do they feel you saying you're not there, making them look non-credible? How does that work? You got the last photo. You stood by the car. We haven't seen you standing by the car. We don't even get to see them exit the building. We don't even get to see them enter the building. What is being hidden? What is being left out of this viewpoint we need to accrue? So they thought showing us two snippets of the video where it deems to make a, a very uh, ominous and curious situation for the suspects was going to be enough to dictate the outcome in our minds on what happened. And it didn't. Zara Wright's reserve was here to remind you it didn't. And was here to show you that some of the people you think may be credible or you think may stand for something, may stand for nothing. Matter of fact, they may be looking to dupe you in many different situations. Because here, what do we do? Hard-hitting, objective perspective in which... We're asking questions. One of the many techniques of a hard-hitting objective perspective. We're asking the audience to define this for me. We're asking the audience, what do you think about this situation? I'm not running on narratives like your newsmakers can do sometime. I'm not running on narratives to make the audience think something. I'm asking questions. Oh, let me guess. You're that parent that says, do as I say, not as I do, right? And you think that's how you raise children, right? Interesting. Maybe that's why you got a lot of delinquent kids out here doing whatever they want anyway. And you can't figure out exactly how to speak to them. Because you don't do what you teach them. And they doing what they saw or see you doing. That's the difference. That's the difference between us. Now, I know a lot of you are probably parents. That's important. Take notes. I'm here dropping jewels for you since you can't seem to get your story straight and admit that you were somewhere that you first claimed but backtracked it when you saw no one was believing what you were saying because we didn't see it on video. And then when we asked for the video, you were like, oh, no, I was joking. Why didn't you do that when those views were rolling in the very next day? But you wait months after. Weeks after to even respond to some people. Then you got a second person hopping on like, oh, I know what happened. Call me on my phone. Dropping that stuff in your post like we didn't see that. That's why you can't fool me. Your kind can't fool me. I don't rock like that. You do, though. I don't believe in that. You do, though. I don't inspire that here in the community. You do, though. I don't slander people in the community unless you slander me. I reverberate your energy. You bring it up, I hand it right back. The best way. Because I'm not going to sit here and baby you with it. I'm not going to sit here like, oh no, please don't say those things. I'm either going to block you, or I'm going to respond, or I'm going to do both. I'm going to respond, then I block you. That's exactly how. Czar, Shaq, 
with the blocks. I'm Shaq with the blocks. They're vicious. Vicious. You get blocked. I'm not playing those games. Because I know who's real and I know who's fake. That information is very clear to me. I ain't got to play with it. Y'all play with it. Play with it. I ain't got to play with it. Shout to Commenter Nation, Greatest Nation, United Nations. Why do you take the last photos or said he did? All rights reserved. You know how we rock. Ah.